I was sitting here stressed, saying hi to the pain. I couldn't hear my brain, it's a silent game. Fearing the worst, see my future laying in the hearse. Blessings of birth, but I feel like I'm cursed. So I sit back and I turn up the volume. Mind gets the wildin', but I stay silent. I can hear the crying coming through the volume. So I got my hands on a Nintendo Switch. I have to say I like it, it's pretty amazing. It's interesting because it has that feel like, like if you took, you know, your Xbox or PlayStation and you just, you know, you could walk around with it. Like, that's how it feels. It feels, it feels more like that level of a game system than a Game Boy. Like, because in a, in a way, it's, it's basically like a cross between if you had like a tablet, a Game Boy, and a console, and you put them all together. Like, that's how it really feels. I think it's pretty cool how you can just, you know, hook it up to the TV and just, you know, play it like that. And it's just, it's just a pretty amazing device. I have a lot of fun with it, you know, like using a touch screen. I actually mainly got it so I can get the Let's Go Pikachu course, you know. I was definitely going to get the Pikachu version. I mean, I might. I get both of them, both Pikachu and Eevee, but I'm mainly looking more forward to the Pikachu version. And I really wanted to get that so much because, you know, I mean, I really like the, you know, the original one. So I was looking at it, I was like, you know, kind of looks like a upgraded yellow version with better graphics and everything like that. And then, you know, I saw the whole, um, like, the Pokeball. I thought that was pretty cool because, you know, like that's what I really like, you know, wanted for like Pokemon Go was to have the Pokeball, you hold it in your hand and you throw it when you're catching a Pokemon. So, I mean, when I saw that, it was just like, my God, that's amazing, right? And then, you know, I watched a little trailer and then I could see like, when you carry the Pokemon around with you, like, I don't know if that's a feature where they actually have, but... Like, that would definitely be cool if they did, where, like, you know, you could hear the Pikachu talking out of their Pokeball. I mean, of course, would you, would you be in, you know, at certain places, like, if, you know, you were at work and just had it in your pocket, you know, you would want that feature. So, I mean, if it could do that, you know, you'd want to be able to turn it off, of course. But, I mean, you know, that, I just think, I just think that's really cool. So that's the main reason I got it, even though, you know, that comes out November 16th. But I just wanted to get it, you know, play around with it, try it out and everything like that. Um, so they get a game with it, you know, played it a little bit. Um, can't remember the name. I think it was Xenoblade Chronicles 2. But I really like it because it had the kind of Final Fantasy feel. But what I kind of struggle a little bit to get used to. It's how the A, B, and X, Y buttons are like, you know, switch from like how they are on the Xbox. So then it's like, when I see A on the screen, I keep trying to press B. And then like when I have to press, you know, X, I keep pressing Y and vice versa. So that is, you know, a little bit of a thing for me to deal with. I also um, decided I wanted to try out Pokemon Quest. I just want to see how it was. Because, you know, when I looked at it, I was like, uh, this looks like Minecraft. Looks like it's going to be garbage. I don't know. But then I was like, you know what? Let me just give it a try and see. And I actually enjoyed it. I mean, I don't like how they look like blocks. No, I'm, I'm not really feeling that, but kind of got a little bit used to it, but not fully. I still really don't don't like that. But I mean, it's actually kind of fun because like, it's like you have these missions and there's wild Pokemon and you, you can have a team of up to three Pokemon and you know, they run around and your Pokemon just basically just attack the wild Pokemon. And then you can tell them to do a move and they'll do this move and they'll have either one or, you know, two moves and pick the move. And of course, like, you can get somewhat tactical. I mean, it doesn't really get like super in-depth tactical, but, you know, you can have some level of tactics. So it, it's actually, it's actually a pretty fun game. I mean, I like it. I prefer using the um, touch screen for it than to actually use, you know, 
the I guess they're called Joy Cones. So yeah, it's it's actually a pretty fun game. It's a lot better than what I had actually you know expected it to be. Is is definitely worth you know trying out Pokemon Quest. I mean it's free. And I feel like the Nintendo Switch is definitely something that is worth going after. Like, I, I've i played the U, Wii U. Um, also played Wii. Um, it's fun, but it's not like a game system that I would really get for myself. Because I just... Just haven't really gotten into it. Of course, it does kind of suck that I'm missing out on Smash Bros. Because that that's a game that I love. But it's just... It's just not appealing to me. Because, like... I mean, I really do like the joystick. And, you know, the whole movement thing. It, it, it is fun, too. And, to be honest, most games I tend to have an advantage over people. But, I'm sure if I played against somebody who was, like, super athletic, I might not have that advantage. But, the average person I tend to have an advantage. So, I do like that. Because, you know, it's like people that I do struggle against with the joystick. is like, you know, with the whole movements and all of that. It's like, man, nothing to me. So yeah, I do kind of like that, but it, most of the games seem like it just didn't really appeal. It seemed like it was built more towards you know kids, and of course, I mean it is Nintendo, but the, that's why the Wii just never appealed to me like that because I tend to prefer the you know mature games, and as far as like the mature games, you can get that on both the Xbox and the PlayStation and I mean since I have a PS4 and a uh, 1 it's like you know what's the point of getting the whole system when the only game I really want is Smash Bros you know so I definitely like the Switch plan on sticking with it and you know getting some more games with it and I think it will definitely be convenient for those times you know when I'm like traveling and whatnot, you know, I can have that because, you know, I'm not going to be carrying my one or my PS4 everywhere I go. So I think that gives it a great advantage and there's just certain games that I like. And also, um, can't remember what it's called, something Battle for Atlas. I can't remember the name of the game. But I know they talked about an E3. It's the game where you have, you know, your joystick and you have the actual, like, model of the plane that you fly around and when you switch out the different weapons and stuff it switches it in the game as you play like so when you get that on a nintendo switch you can get star fox so i'm like okay like now like i definitely like i'm from feeling like i want to get the nintendo switch version because i was thinking about originally i was just going to get it for the xbox because at that time i didn't have a ps4 and then it was like mm, PS4, Xbox, because I have so many games on the Xbox that I tend to get games like for the PS4 just off the bases that I have so many games. And like I prefer the Xbox, but like since I have all of these games, it's like, you know, like it's not but so much space and then you got to take the games off. And like me, I'm the type of person where, you know, I don't be like a lot of my games because like every day I feel like playing a different game like that that that's how I am so that's why I kind of don't finish the game because it's like I have hundreds of games and it's like I always feel like playing this game or that game and then I play certain games that's like you know like never ending type stuff like you know MMOs and then also games like Dynasty Warriors for example when you beat the whole game but you still can like play through and I like the um I like playing M Dynasty Warriors Empires because it's like you know you can have your family you can have your friends you have your enemies you come up with you know all of these different tactics for how you do things and I mean overall it is a pretty easy game to be honest and like you can beat it like pretty easily but I still I still like the whole like just the whole feel of a like fantasy life so that's like a type of game where it's like 
you never really end with that game so you know playing games like that and then like the sims because you know i like building my whole family in the sims and then um actually started getting to jurassic world evolution so yeah i'm not trying to get too far off but basically nintendo switch i my personal opinion is definitely something that's worth getting